my name is Gimo. Welcome to Atomic Cirque. Anaïs Guimont is my name. I am the president, owner, um, one-woman show. That's what I do at Atlantic Cirque. <laughs> Atlantic Cirque is Atlantic Canada's only school of circus arts. I live in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I've been here for seven years now. I started my business in September 2002. The story behind the opening of Atlantic Cirque um, is that I was a professional circus performer for 10 years in uh, Quebec. Um, and then I came to Halifax and realized that the Buskers Festival had been here for 15 years at a time and thought, hmm, this would be a great place where people see circus arts every summer but have nowhere to actually try it to open a circus school. That's where the idea came from. And being a professional circus performer for 10 years, you think that the next logical step would be to teach others what you've learned and, and done for the next uh, decade. I do do a lot hands-on, like I do all, I return the phone calls, I do a lot of the stuff other than just teaching the classes. I mean, I would, I would, you know, I would say that a lot of business owners end up, end up doing that, but um, I actually don't enjoy everything that has to do with the business, but it's something that needs to be done. I'll give you a little tour. This is our reception area, our front desk. This is what people come here for. Everything on the ceiling. We've got trapeze, we've got trampoline, we've got aerial hoops, ropes, juggling in a cycle. There's a million things we do here. Straight into the gym, so everybody that comes here actually has a view of the, uh, of the space. So it's a really good thing. Parents come here, they hang out, they watch the class, and then they pick up their kids and they go back home. This is new, we just moved here in May. And then we have a uh, birthday party room over here and the locker room. So when we do birthday parties on the weekend, this is where kids come. And in here is the most fun part of the whole school. We have the gym. It's 34 foot ceilings. We've got natural light in here. That's the reason why we came here. And we've got tons of stuff hanging from the ceiling. This is where we have fun. putting the money at the right place to get the results. There's a million things that you can do at the beginning of your business to kind of test um, ideas and, and how things uh, come back, but when you're at the point where you want to grow and expenses have gone up because of a new space, new equipment, uh, new employees and that kind of stuff, you need to make sure that you put your um, money at the right place to get the results you know, the quickest that you can. Well, September is when we start uh, our fall session. My goal for the next month is filling the classes, which we're, you know, we're getting very close to. Um, and uh, I, I have two new per people working with me um, in the next month, and I'm hoping that we're going to be able to do more promotion and let people know about what we do and the fact that we have an artist agency with, where we book performers and entertainers for all kinds of events. Um, in the next year, I'd like to produce another uh, show. Um, I produced a uh, show called Premiere that we presented in, in June 2007. Now I'm in the process of, of producing a new show, a brand new show. Um, for, you know, it's probably not the next year, it's probably in the next 18 months. It takes a long time to have new costumes, new music, new concept, the whole thing. scared of heights. I was a trapeze performer for 10 years, but I'm scared of heights. You didn't know that, did you? Yeah. <laughs>